They take on John Brown University today. We had a chance earlier to talk with Evangel assistant coach Don Neal and talk about how our team is going to try to stay up through this early portion of the schedule where they've not only been shorthanded but have managed to play well and play with some grit and is still trying to keep their spirits up and prepare themselves for the conference run in a week. We're back at the Ashcroft Center, joined before today's game by Evangel assistant coach Don Neal. His team is back at home today, taking on the John Brown Golden Eagles. Off to an 0-4 start, but you've played a very difficult schedule. And, and coach, how do you kind of relay to your team that uh, you really can't be too disappointed with the way they've played? Because you've played three ranked teams, you play them all close, include Friday. You had a shorthanded group and, and took a William Woods team down to the wire. Uh, how do you, how do, you do, do you convey to them that, uh, hey, you're, you're really uh, doing some good things here, and, and how do you kind of keep them up through this? Well, first of all, I think there are several reasons why he schedules that kind of a uh, non-conference schedule in November. It's for a few reasons. It's for uh, to help them to develop some mental toughness and some physical toughness. And, uh, you know, with the idea that we're going out to play to win and um, – you know, um, I think the thing that we've been saying to them lately is that you these games prepare you. They prepare you very well for your conference, and that's Coach Neal's mental – or that's his um, um, whole thinking in it is that he's preparing them for conference games, which begin next week. So um, we just try to keep them up, let them know that what we really want from them is hard work, and uh, what we want for them is to get better on defense – and uh, some of the issues that we've been dealing with with offense, we've been talking to them about that as well and, you know, moving and cutting and not staying standing still. And, and so those are some of the things that we've been talking about in practice and in games. But uh, I think the biggest thing is just to allow them to have games where they can really see that um, – we have to be very, very, very strong when, when conference games come around. And I think that's what they're learning. They're learning how to not give up, learning, learning how to stick together, and they're being forced to learn that. So, I mean, there's some good things coming out of it. But, yeah, we talk about it every day in practice and in pregame talks and things like that to keep them up. Well, Friday you had to have uh, been pleased with the fact that you came so close considering Emily Aikens was out uh, there's not just one of your top scorers, but really uh, one of your primary weapons and uh, one of your key perimeter threats. You take her off the floor against the 23rd ranked team in the country, and you are right there. Um, it shows the potential this team has, I would have to imagine, too. They do. They have great potential. And that wasn't one of the games I was talking about, about, uh, you know, the – you know that that was an NEI Division One team, and we we put forth the best effort to try to win that game. I was talking about the NCAA, NCAA D two teams and things like that. But um, yeah, I think with Emily out on the floor it would have probably been a, a different game, you know. And yet at the same time, uh, I was really proud, and so was Coach Neal, very proud of the effort that uh, the kids gave and how hard they worked. We had a few breakdowns. And those breakdowns weren't just on defense. We missed some layups that were point-blank layups, too. So, you know, these are things that they're learning. They're learning how to uh, become a cohesive team. They're learning how to stick together no matter what's happening. And we had a great talk after the game. So I feel like yesterday's practice was pretty amazing because they came out a very focused team. So if that's what it allows you to do, then we're great. You know, we're glad for that. And, uh, of course, it's going to relate to the – today well you talk about building toughness and some character uh, doing it and doing it again today just because uh, you're shorthanded again we are shorthanded uh, Emily has to this will be her fifth day uh, for without uh, uh, for the concussion and uh, she will be able to start back with us uh, in practice tomorrow um, but you know uh, we're gonna miss Emily but it's 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 it gives these the the other parts of the team, the other players on the team, a chance to step up again and really see what they can do. I mean, we see so much potential in them, but it allows them to see what they can do. It puts them in a position where they have to do it, and it allows, you know, the starting five to be able to see what the other kids on the bench can do as well. Evangel assistant coach Don Neal visiting with us before the game today as the Crusaders get set to take on the John Brown Golden Eagles. 
Let's run down the starting lineups. First for John Brown, coached by Jeff Soderquist, now in his 15th season. Again, they're off to a 3-4 and four start. They're picked to finish fifth in the Sooner Athletic Conference. They'll start at a forward Morgan Ancrom, six foot, a sophomore from Farmington, Missouri. The other forward, a six foot freshman, Brooke Barker from Lubbock, Texas. It's a big lineup. We got two six foot forwards and a six foot two center, Cami Garrison, six two, a junior from Springdale, Arkansas. At a guard, Anna Parrish, five nine, a senior from Yantis, Texas. And the other guard is their leading scorer, Sierra Shipley. 5'9", a junior from Fayetteville. For the Crusaders, they will start at a forward, Jessica Rumfeld, six foot, a senior from Bolivar. The other forward, Sierra McSpadden, six foot senior at a Chelsea, Oklahoma, transfer from Crowder Community College. A third forward today, Brianna Walsh. She'll get her first college start, a senior, but has played volleyball for four years. Coming over for basketball for one, 5'9", senior from Clever. Amanda Landolt, start point guard, 5'5", five, five, sophomore at a Kickapoo. And the other guard, Tianchi Brown, 5'7", a junior from Gainesville, Florida, and a transfer from Indian River Junior College in Florida. Banja coached by Leon Neal, now in his 19th season. And again, his lineup, Rumfelt, McSpadden, and Walsh up front with Landolt and Brown, the backcourt. And we're set to go. McSpadden to jump center for Evangel, and Evangel controls the tap. We're underway. Right, Jimmy, with us an early start, a 6 o'clock tip-off from Ashcroft Center today as the Crusaders take on John Brown, University out of Arkansas. Tianchi Brown to the top of the key to Bree Walsh. Bounce pass inside intended for McSpadden, and the pass goes wide and taken away by the Golden Eagles. John Brown in road blue. White letters and numbers. Blue and white trim. A pass down low. Deflected and stolen. Tianchi Brown on the run. Flies down the floor and scores on a layup. Brown with great speed. Just outran everybody. They didn't have numbers, but Tianchi got to the rim and scores to put Evangel ahead 2-0. Out front for the Golden Eagles. Shipley gives it up left side to Anna Parrish. Back out front. Shipley for three. Missed it off the front of the rim. McSpadden. Who's had a double-double in two games already. Gets the rebound for Evangel. Landolt brings it up. Out front to Tianchi Brown. Over to Bree Walsh between the circles. She'll hand it back to Landolt deep in the backcourt. Here's Brown, deep left side. Takes it left wing, one dribble, and now she's killed it. Looking for some help. Finds Walsh top of the key. Lob inside, Rumfeld catches underneath and scores it off the glass. It hung in the back of the rim for a minute, but then fell through, and Evangel goes ahead 4-0. That comes John Brown University the other way. Anna Parrish running the point. Feeds Sierra Shipley. Bounce pass top of the key to Garrison. She'll dump it down low. Pump faking and going up and missing a shot. Is Barker inside. That was contested by Walsh, and Evangel gets the rebound. A good start for Evangel in the first 90 seconds today. Landolt far wing. Lobs it. Right wing for Rumfelt. She'll give it back to Landolt, the sophomore from Kickapoo. Amanda holds it. Feeds it top of the key to Sierra McSpadden. She'll find Brown. Brown across the key. Puts up a runner right of the lane and banks it in off the window. Tianchi Brown with four. And a nice move knifing across the lane. And Evangel's off to a 6-0 start. Out front, Sierra Shipley to Morgan Ancrom out front. She's guarded by McSpadden. Now for Garrison. Back to Ancrom. She'll fire a three and leave it off the back of the rim. It's all white jerseys in the lane for the rebound, and the Crusaders will clear it. Evangel needed a good start. Again, they're shorthanded. Just eight players available tonight. Going to be in it for a long haul. Here's McSpadden left wing. She'll drive, put up a runner left of the lane, leave it short. Rebound. Batted around and picked up by John Brown. Again, Evangel's got to avoid foul trouble today, too. That's about as big a key as anything. Here's Shipley right wing. Gets it to the top of the key to Garrison. Dumps it down low. The shot stripped away. Out of bounds off Evangel inside. Shot clock reset, and it should not have, so they're going to have to go over and fix that. It's never a shot that hit the rim. 
And the Eagles will inbound underneath with 17-10 to go on the game clock. They'll get an inbound underneath. They'll put 18 up. And the Eagles will have it underneath. Inbounding is Parrish. John Brown still looking for their first points. They have trouble getting it in. It comes into Garrison at the foul line. Left wing for Ancrum. Now back top of the key for Brooke Barker. Back out front to Shipley. Ten on the shot clock. She'll go to her left. Dish it behind her to Ann Crom with six to shoot. Picks up a dribble top of the key. Deep right side Barker. She'll drive left. It tied up. And it's going to be still Eagles ball, but with one to shoot. Really less than a second for them on a shot clock as they'll inbound near sideline. They almost need a tip. Comes in right corner. They say they beat the shot clock, but it missed off the back of the rim. Eagles get the rebound. Far side, another tie-up. This time it's Evangel's arrow. Is a diving. Bree Walsh sliding in, tied up and calm, and it's going to be Evangel ball. So it's Evangel leading 6-0 with the ball back with 16.45 left. Just underway in our first half. Our first broadcast on radio of Evangel Women's Basketball of the Year. Here's a backdoor cutting. Brown got a nice feed from Rumfeld. Tianchi with her sixth point of the game makes it 8 nothing. Back comes John Brown the other way. Right side, an open 18-footer. Missed off the back of the rim by Barker. Rebound out of bounds. And it's going to be still Eagles ball as they go to the bench for the first time. And this is where John Brown can have a considerable advantage. They can keep their personnel fresh. Courtney Berenberg and Abby Warren come in for the first time for them. Eagles get it inbounds. Left corner to Anna Parrish. She'll fake a three. Put on the floor to the wing. Up top for Shipley. She'll fake a three. A drive right cut off by Landolt. Now back to Parrish and the Eagles have to reset. Brooke Barker to her left. Hands it off behind her to Berenberg who was 26 feet out. Thought about shooting it but wisely does not. Now hands it off to Barker, left wing. Bounce pass to the left block. With it there, another tie-up, but they're going to call an Evangel foul. Reach in on the Crusaders. That's going to go on Bree Walsh. Evangel's first foul of the game, and the Crusaders shuttle in Ariel Robinson, six-foot junior from Winter Haven, Florida, who was... Uh, who played sparingly on Friday but through an illness. Bailey Irvine is also in for the first time, and so is Danielle Latt for the Crusaders. Top of the key, Shipley fakes a three, drives right, kicks it out right wing. Driving there is Lindsey McHenry, swings it left wing, and a three, missed in and out, rebound batted around, tapped up three times, recovered by the Eagles, and they'll reset it. They dump it down low and a turnaround shot. Missed underneath by Warden. Rebound Evangel this time. And the Crusaders clear. The shutout still intact for them. 8-0 Evangel with 15-30 left in our first half. Bailey Irvine, a junior at a Hillcrest, gives it up to Robinson. Her top of the key jumper along. Rebound knocked away by Latt, but out of bounds off of the Crusaders. And it's going to be Golden Eagles ball. Bailey Irvine, a transfer from North Arkansas Community College. Played high school ball at Hillcrest. Ariel Robinson, a junior college teammate of Tianchi Browns at Indian River in Florida. In along with the freshman Danielle Lattis, 6'1 freshman. Out front, McHenry gives it up in the backcourt to uh, Courtney Berenberg. Left side, Parrish tries to dump it down low, and they're going to call a foul on Robinson trying to defend the post underneath. This is a game where not it doesn't matter who might be in foul trouble. No one can be in foul trouble if you're in maroon and white. It's You don't have any room really at all to lose anybody to fouls. There's an offensive foul as charging over Landolt went Courtney Berenberg. Berenberg looking for room, just lowered her shoulder and shoved Landolt to the floor and got caught. Robinson, who still may be a little under the weather, may get some minutes in some short bursts. Actually, it's Tianchi Brown that will come out for Evangel as Brianna Walsh comes back in for Evangel. 
Here is Landolt, right wing. She'll look underneath, go out front to Bailey Irvine, to Lat, left wing for Walsh. She'll feed Robinson underneath. She's double teamed, looking for help. Out front to Walsh. She'll throw it cross court to Irvine. Seven on the shot clock. Underneath, Lat. She'll turn around and get called for the travel. Her feet got staggered. She turned to try to pivot and dragged her pivot foot. Back comes John Brown University with an, a trailing of Angel 8-0. On the right side, Tristan Carasquillo, 5'8 freshman from Verona, Missouri. Gives it up on the left side to Sierra Shipley. Bounce pass underneath. Evangel double teaming the post. Abby Warren had to give it up. Left corner of three is off the back of the rim. Rebound John Brown University. There's a scramble for the loose ball. And it's a tie-up that's going to give it back to John Brown. They've held the Golden Eagles scoreless for the first five minutes, 54 seconds. Eagles inbound under their basket. Comes in right wing. They fake a three. Driving Shipley. Pulls up. Missed the 15-footer. Rebound lat. And we got a whistle and a timeout called by the Crusaders. 14.02 to go first half. It's Evangel 8. The John Brown Eagles nothing. Back to Ashcroft after this. Oh, that'll work. Back at the Ashcroft Center, evangelating John Brown University, 8-0. Crusaders got a miss at their end. Golden Eagles with it back, and there's a travel violation on John Brown underneath. Crusaders had a very difficult early season schedule. Three nationally ranked teams, two of them in the top ten. They've played early. They've played teams close, but winless so far at 0-4. John Brown University at 3-4 in the year. Angel with an 8-0 start. 13-15 to go just in the first half. Bree Walsh left wing out front. Now swung right from Amanda Landall. Top of the key back to Walsh. Back to Amanda right wing. She'll get it underneath to Danielle Latt. Top of the key Irvine. A pass underneath deflected. Stolen away. Loose in the lane and picked up by John Brown University. They'll look to clear. Harris Keo brings it up over in the right side to Brooke Barker. She gets it down low to the post, swung back up front. Faking a three is McHenry, drives, runs over to Crusader, but it's going to be an Evangel foul. And free throws for John Brown University at the line. Lindsey McHenry will go to the stripe, trying to get her team on the board. First free throw, rattled in and out. Foul charge at Danielle Ladder first. Rumfelt, McSpedden, and Brown check back in for Evangel here. Second free throw for McHenry coming. That's off the back of the rim. She missed them both. She was six for six from the foul line in the year. Hadn't missed yet this season and missed both there. And the shutout still intact for Evangel. Here's Walsh, double team to the backcourt. Tries to pass, and it's deflected out of bounds. Crusaders facing a half-court trap now from the Golden Eagles, trying to get jump started. Walsh looking to trigger it in, gets it into Landolt. Landolt dribbling near side. Goes to her left, got around a defender and a crossover, lobs it right of the lane to McBadden, backs it up to Rumfelt. Her 15-footer rattles home off the back iron. Good feed from McSpadden to Jess Rumfelt. 
her first uh, fourth point of the game. Left side, a quick three in transition. That's long. Battle for the rebound. Won by the Golden Eagles in a 19-footer. Right wing knocked down by Brooke Barker. They get John Brown finally on the board. 10-2. Crusaders in front with 12 minutes to go first half. Here's Tianchi Brown out front to Amanda Landolt. Left wing to Sierra McSpadden. They dare shoot her to shoot. She does. Missed it from 23. Rebound, Golden Eagles. They'll push the other direction. Driving left, it's McHenry. Stumbles into the lane and got fouled on a trip. That'll go on Tianchi Brown, her first. The team's fourth. More free throws for Lindsey McHenry. 5'8 sophomore from Fayetteville. Front end is good. Henry missed her two uh, tries a moment ago, but comes through with both there to make it 10 to 4 to Vangel. Back the other way come the Crusaders. Tianchi Brown to Bree Walsh. Walsh back to Brown, left side to Sierra McSpadden, who has yet to score. Rumfeld across the lane to Landolt. She'll fake up, doesn't have the shot. Backs it up to Walsh. Her three try is long. Rebound recovered by the Eagles. They race the other way. Carrasquillo throws a cross-court pass to Barker. Now top of the key for Brandenburg. Underneath, they feed the block to Abby Warren. They're going to call an Evangel foul inside. It's a push on Jessica Rumfeld, her first. The team's fifth. Anna Parrish will rotate back in for John Brown. Eagles will trigger it in. McHenry looking to inbound it. Having trouble doing so, they lob it in right wing for Parrish. Now back to the top of the key to Abby Warren. Carrasquillo right wing. Looks inside, goes top of the key instead, and a three from there. Missed in and out by Warren. Evangel the rebound. They'll push the other direction. Up the far sideline, McSpadden drives baseline, swings it to Tianchi Brown, gets into the lane, back to Sierra, left of the rim. She scores underneath. Evangel with a basket. They lead 12-4 in a timeout called by John Brown. Evangel with a 12-4 lead, 10.46 to go in the first. With a timeout on the floor, we will be back after this. Uh, about 10, about 11 minutes. Ed Beach welcoming you back to the Ashcroft Center. A good start for Evangel tonight. They lead 12-4 over John Brown. 10.46 to go in our first half. Evangel with only eight players, so it's going to be a, a night where that clock is not going to move fast enough for them as they play with the lead. Out front, Morgan Ancrom. Gives it up top of the key for Cam Garrison. Most of the starters back in for John Brown. They'll try to use their depth as an advantage tonight. They picked up the physical play a little bit underneath already. Shot clock down to seven for the Eagles. Lob middle of the lane to Garrison. They find a baseline cutter and a shot blocked by McSpadden, rejecting a try from Ancrom, and Evangel gets the loose ball. Pretty block from Sierra as she swatted Ancrom going at baseline, and Evangel gets it. Tianchi Brown walks into the right wing, looks underneath, no one open. Goes top of the key for Sierra McSpadden. Left wing for Amanda Landol. Left side for Walsh. She feeds Rumfelt left of the lane. Cross court to Landol. He'll fake a three. Tries a pass inside. And it's high and wide and out of bounds. This will give it back to the Eagles. The other way, Parrish. It's around the defender. Gets to the top of the key. Now left side for Shipley. Back out front for Parrish. Swung to Cami Garrison. Garrison back to Ancrom to the right wing for Shipley guarded by Brown she'll try to go baseline on Brown gets underneath swings at left corner and a three from there knocked down by Morgan Ancrom Eagles get to within five at 12-7 
Vangel will bring it back the other way. Landolt will bring it up. Over for Brown, right side of the backcourt. 9.09 to go, first half. Pass underneath for Rumfeld. Had to pop to the right corner to catch it on a pass that went low. Left side, McSpadden fires a three. Missed it off the back iron. Rebound, John Brown. They'll race the other way. Golden Eagles bring it up. Shipley to the top of the key to Garrison. Gets it down low. Ball batted away by McSpadden. Denying the low post. And Evangel lost the ball out of bounds in transition. Brown got a little contact, but not enough to draw a whistle and lost the dribble on their bench on the far sideline, and the Eagles have it back. And Crom to trigger it in. Comes in to Garrison. She'll hand it off behind her to Parrish. Parrish across the key, backs up. Bob inside again. Garrison, turnaround shot on Rumfelt is missed. Rebound Sierra McSpadden, and Evangel will walk it the other direction. Five-point Evangel lead, even though they've stymied the Golden Eagles through most of the game. Kianchi Brown out front. Left-hand dribble between the circles. Hands it off to Sierra McSpadden right of the arc. Cross-court pass to Walsh. Bree lobs it left block for Rumfeld. She'll back her way in the lane. Swing it to Brown. She'll drive right of the lane and score off the glass. She has eight. And that quick move to her right may not be able to be stopped by anybody in blue in this game. She was quick to her right hand on the dribble and got to the rim. Out front, Garrison. Looks underneath, goes right side. A three fake by Shipley. She'll drive underneath and score in a layup herself. That's her first two. She's their leading scorer, averaging 14. Makes it 14-9, Evangel. That come the Crusaders the other way with 7.35 to go in the first. Landolt directing traffic. Gives it up to Brown, right wing. Bianchi Brown puts it on the floor. Now gives it up to Walsh. Walsh back to Brown, right side. They guard her loosely. Now she'll fire a three. Miss it off the back of the rim. Battle for the rebound. Goes out of bounds. And it's going to be Eagles ball. Bailey Irvine back in for the Crusaders along with Danielle Latt. Seven seventeen remaining in our first half. John Brown brings it up the other way. Landolt guarding Parrish full court. They're going to call a hand check foul on Landolt. She can't afford to do that much. Her first foul, team foul number six. Eagles inbound. I have to inbound again. Not sure the shot clock ever reset. It's at 30 now as they resume play. Eagles bring it up. Pass right side. There is Shipley going baseline. Over to the far corner, and a three from there is long. Rebound, Garrison. Put back, won't go. McSpadden trying to hang on to the rebound, does, and dribbles out of traffic. Sierra McSpadden, a senior out of Chelsea, Oklahoma, brings it up, now finds Landolt to get them into their offense. Man to Landolt, directing traffic out front. 6.40 to play, first half. Here's Irvine. Irvine left of the key to Rumfelt top of the arc. Lob inside intended for McSpadden, batted away and taken away by John Brown. On pass up floor. It's Shipley, a drive into the lane. Swings it off left side for Brooke Barker. Now top of the key for Garrison. Right side, Parrish. Show bounce pass it inside to Garrison. Turnaround shot, partially blocked. But they're going to call an Evangel foul underneath. That's going to be somebody's second one. Going to be Rumfelt second foul. Rumfelt with a pair on her now, and she may have to come out. The free throws for Cammy Garrison is good. Ariel Robinson actually comes in for McSpadden. Another free throw for Cammie Garrison, a junior out of Springdale, Arkansas. 6-2. Her second one is no good. Rumfelt the rebound for Evangel. A 14-10 lead for the Crusaders with 6-10 to go here in the first. Out 
Out front, Irvine. Left side for Jessica Rumfeld. She's double teamed. A three second lane violation on Robinson. That'll give it back to the Eagles. So they'll go the other direction as Anna Parrish will bring it up for them. Only senior in their starting lineup is Parrish. Feed it right side for Carrasquillo who faked the three. Now they get it down low on the right block to Garrison. Cross court pass for Shipley. Shipley to the far corner. Backs up. Looks underneath. Bounce pass to Garrison left wing. Goes cross court to Carrasquillo. She'll get inside the lane. Run into a defender and is called for the travel. If Angel gets it back with 5.33 to go before halftime. Angel back the other direction, going from our right to our left in this first half. Home white jerseys, maroon letters and numbers. Second home game of the year for the women's team. Here is Ariel Robinson inside, double teamed. Pass near side, deflected and taken away by the Eagles. Pass up the far side. Carrasquillo on the wing. Gets it back to her point guard and Parrish. Swung around to the right side to Sierra Shipley. They get it to the right block. Now out front. Swung left wing for Brandenburg. And out front for Anna Parrish. Right side for Sierra Shipley. Up top of three. Knocked down by Parrish. It's a one-point game now at 14-13. Evangel 8-0 start. Almost erased. Here's Rumfeld out front to Irvine, down low for Robinson, back to Bailey. She'll fire a three, miss it off the back of the rim, and it bounces over the glass. And that'll give it back to the Golden Eagles. They'll shoot for the lead this possession. 4.35 to go in the half. Eagles have not led in this game. A basket here can change that. Carrasquillo brings it up. Left side for Shipley. Top of the key for McHenry. Now top of the arc, a three cast up by uh, Berenberg. That's long. Rebound to Angel as Irvine got it in the far corner. Clears ahead to Amanda Landol. She'll bring it up for the Crusaders. Fires a pass inside to McSpadden. Turnaround shot with the left hand won't go inside the lane. Rebound Eagles. Back the other way, down by one. Carrasquillo. Left side of the backcourt, native of Verona. Goes to her right on the bounce. Top of the key now for Lindsay McMurray. Left side for Berenberg. Right of the arc, Shipley. Shipley to her left. Bounce pass inside, broken up, and it's going to be a kicked ball against Evangel. They're going to call it a hand check foul on the Crusaders. Thought they might have called it. Yeah, they did call a kick. They just signaled to the table who kicked it. The shot clock resets to 15. As Tianchi Brown comes back in for Evangel. Eagles inbound into their basket. Carrasquillo looking for an open teammate. Can't find one. Lobs it way out front and gets it to McHenry. Eagles now into their offense. Here's Shipley. Right of the arc for Abby Warren. Left of the arc, Carrasquillo. She'll drive to her right, kick it off top of the key. A three-pointer from there, knocked down by Abby Warren. And the Golden Eagles have their first lead of the day. 16-14, to 14, Golden Eagles go in front with 3.28 to go first half. 16-14, to 14, John Brown with a timeout. We're back after this. All right. Actually, let's take uh, number six with it, too.
We're back at the Ashcroft Center. And here on ESPN 1400, later on tonight, coming up immediately after our coverage here, Tournament Fishing Radio on ESPN 1400. Follows us. We have displaced it for just a little while on your radio schedule. The Tournament Fishing Radio coming up after our post-game coverage tonight here on ESPN 1400. Crusaders down by two with the ball, 3.18 to go first half. Trailing John Brown University. Right side, Tianchi Brown gives Evangel back the lead with a three-pointer. Brown double figures with 11. Right side, an open three for the Eagles. That's off the back iron. Bree Walsh tracks down the rebound for the Crusaders. 17-16, Evangel with a one-point edge. Brown. Left side of the backcourt, walks it left of the key. Cross-court pass to Amanda Landolt, now to Walsh. Walsh back to Amanda, right wing. She'll dribble it back out front. Goes to Brown. Tianchi to her left. John Brown University now in his zone. Walsh left wing, back to Brown with six to shoot. Cross-court to Landolt. She'll fire a three and hit it. Amanda Landolt with a triple. Her first basket of the game, and the Crusaders go back ahead quickly, 20-16. Their deficit didn't last for long. Eagles with it. Top of the key, Sierra Shipley. She'll go to her left. Drive, runs over to Crusader. Got a basket. Is it a charge or not? It's a block. Chance at a three-point play for the Eagles. Charge uh, foul is on. Danielle Latt. It's going to be her second. Basket by Shipley. No good. That was one shot. That should be Evangel's ball. Yep. Made the basket. Had one free throw. No one moved on the free throw attempt. She missed it. And Evangel had the rebound. The officials had to stop play to give Evangel back the ball. Crusaders bring it the other way, leading 20-18. to 18. Top of the key, Robinson. Puts it on the floor to the top of the arc. Left side for Walsh. Walsh, right side now for Brown. Tianchi down low for Bra uh, Robinson. She's double teamed. Pass back to the perimeter. Got batted out. Angel will inbound far corner. Walsh will trigger it in. 10 to shoot. 151 left in the half. Bounded Landolt out front to Tianchi Brown. She'll go to her left. Puts up a shot from 16. Rattled in and out. Rebound Eagles. He'll push the other direction. Up the far side. Carasquillo brings it up. On the right side, Sierra Shipley. On the right wing now for Berenberg. She'll look down low, feed the post. Pass back top of the key. Carasquillo for three. Knocks down the tray. Her first points of the game. 21-20. Evangel falls back behind. Now by a point. Evangel brings it back the other direction. Tianchi Brown out front. Finds Lat left side for Landolt. They feed Robinson left block. Aerial double team. Back to Landolt. Three from the left corner won't go. Rebound John Brown. Karaskio will bring it up. Eagles the other way. Less than a minute to go before halftime. 50 seconds left in the half. Out front, Berenberg. Sings it to the right side to Karaskio. Top of the key, a three-point try off the back iron. Rebound, Eagles. And there's going to be an Evangel foul on a follow-up chance for the Eagles. And a Landolt with a reach-in foul there. It's her second. Free throw here. Two of them for Abby Warren. The front end is no good. Eagles have been called for one foul this half. Angel nine. Another free throw pending for Warren. That's up and no good. She missed them both. There's a break. Angel back the other way, down one. 34 seconds to go in the half. 
Rob make it to Brown, near side. Out front, now right side for Amanda Landol. Top of the key to Rumfeld. Back to Amanda, right side of the backcourt. Lob underneath for Robinson. Back to Landolt. Cross court to Rumfeld, left corner. Look inside, can't feed the post. Goes to Brown instead. Five to shoot. Brown pulls up from 14, right of the lane. Missed it off the back iron. Nine seconds to go in the half. Carrasquillo brings it up. Gets it over the midcourt line. Right side for Barker. Three seconds to go. She'll fire an off-balance shot. Miss it short, and the first half is over. So we go to halftime, a shorthanded Evangel team trailing by one at intermission. At the half, John Brown 21, the Evangel Crusaders 20. A look at your first half scoring. Also a look at the week ahead for us on the Crusaders Sports Broadcasting Network when we return after this commercial timeout. Okay. Back at the Ashcroft Center where Evangel trails by one at half. John Brown University 21, Evangel 20 at intermission. A great start for Evangel in the game. They had an 8-0 lead early before the Golden Eagles would cut back and wind up going ahead before halftime with their lead a point over the shorthanded Evangel team. The Crusaders are without Emily Aikens. Their leading returning scorer from last year and averaging 11 this year. 
She is out with a head injury and missed Friday's game and also missing today. Then Evangel also lost today. Jessica Lessman to an illness. 5'9 freshman from Nixa played all 40 minutes on Friday and Evangel's six-point loss to 23rd-ranked William Woods. Lessman had eight points on Friday, but not available, not at all in the building tonight. And uh, with just eight dressed for the Crusaders today, they had an eight-point lead early, an eight-point lead midway through the half at 12-4, but now trail 21-20 at intermission. Here's the way the scoring is broken down, and our game summary is brought to you by Empire Bank, where teamwork always pays off. For the Golden Eagles, they're led by Sierra Shipley. She had four points to lead them in scoring. Three points then from Morgan Ancrom, and three by Anna Parrish. Also a three by Tristan Carrasquillo, and a three by Abby Warren. Two points in the game for Brooke Barker, and two both from the foul line by Lindsey McMurray. Only one player with more than two made field goals for John Brown in that first half. They lead by one, 21-20. For Evangel, they're led by Tianchi Brown, who has 11. Next, Jessica Rumfelt with four. Three by Amanda Landolt. Two points for Sierra McSpadden. And that's been it. Danielle Latt, Ariel Robinson, Bailey Irvine, and Brianna Walsh have all played, but not scored yet for Evangel. As the Crusaders only have eight available today, and of course they're all getting plenty of minutes. Landolt played all 20 of them in the Crusaders' trail by one, though, at intermission, 21-20. Over the Thanksgiving holiday, we'll be with the Evangel men's team on the road. We'll talk about that when we return. But first, this time out on the Crusaders Sports Broadcasting Network. Welcome back to the Ashcroft Center. Halftime, Evangel women's basketball trailing John Brown University at the intermission, 21 to 20. 
our score here at the half. A big road trip coming up for the Evangel men's basketball team over the Thanksgiving holiday. Led to Shawnee, Oklahoma. And Evangel takes on the defending NAIA national champions, Oklahoma Baptist, on Saturday. Friday, a rematch of last year's second-round national tournament game between the Crusaders and Rogers State. Five o'clock tip-offs for both games at Oklahoma Baptist at the Thanksgiving Classic at Oklahoma Baptist. 5.45, a broadcast start as Evangel ranked 21st in America. Takes on fifth-ranked Rogers State. It returns a number of players from their national tournament run of last season. That was a great game last year in the second round of the national tournament. Crusaders lost by eight, but had a lead late on Rogers State down the stretch. But were edged by the Hillcats in the national tournament's second round. Then it's second-ranked Oklahoma Baptist against Evangel on Saturday. The Crusaders take on the defending national champions. That's Friday and Saturday. Evangel men's basketball coverage continues on the Crusaders Sports Network. For the Evangel women's team, they'll head to Joplin over the weekend, taking on Pittsburgh State, who's ranked number three at NCAA Division II. Then they'll take on Missouri Southern as well over the weekend. Both those games will go as exhibitions on Evangel's schedule which only has 24 regular season games on it, but they're wanting uh, that level of competition to have them prepared for the conference season that starts on the 29th of November. That's a, the week after Thanksgiving. Angel opens the conference schedule at home against Central Methodist here at the Ashcroft Center. Our first broadcast of the two games in one night with the women's game first and the men's game to follow. That schedule begins on the 29th of November here at Ashcroft Center. In the building, the Crusaders trail by one. John Brown, Golden Eagles 21, the Crusaders 20 at halftime. Our second half gets underway when we return after this timeout on ESPN 1400. Okay. <laughs> that pop up again. <laughs> well, no one watches TV anymore, so it's fine. <laughs> Um, it's hard to pick it up in the building. But, yeah, I think so. A lot of concrete and steel in here. moved offices in here a handful of times and when I'm done it's it's funny what radio stations I can no longer pick up and which ones I can <laughs> yeah 1400 was clear in one spot now I can't get it at all where I am which is not too far from where I'm sitting AM 560 didn't come in at all in one spot, and now comes in decent. And 1260 also was either non-existent or I can get it.
We're back and ready to start the second half. Crusader is trailing John Brown 21-20 here at intermission. It's going to be Evangel's ball to start the second half. Again, Evangel without Jessica Lessman and Emily Akins tonight. We'll start this half with Rumfelt, Landolt. Brown, McSpadden, and Walsh. Let's see if the Golden Eagles start with the zone in half number two. Crusaders will bring it up. Landolt will run the point. Looking to her right, she'll go left instead to Tianchi Brown on the wing. She'll take it to the top of the key. Feeding left side for Rumfelt. Down low to McSpadden, who had a quiet first half. Turns around, shoots over a defender, and it's over the rim. No good. Rebound Golden Eagles. They'll take it the other way. Top of the key, Garrison. Swings it inside. Pump faking and going up at Ancrom. She leaves it short over Rumfelt. Evangel the rebound, and they'll look to take it the other way. Scoreboard never started. Still shows 20 minutes up there. So he went up and back a couple of times. Apparently the scoreboard's frozen up altogether. So they're going to need to look at video and, uh, and see if they can get that figured out with what's there although they don't have a clock superimposed on it but they'll see if they can catch it off of one of the shot or one of the clocks from above as they try to work on uh, the scoreboard across the way they've got it counting down now so we've they've got that working now it's just a matter now of what to put on it before they reset so you had a possession for Evangel, a possession for John Brown University. And they'll put 1920 up on the clock. Not sure if it started and then went back to 20 or if it actually uh, started to count down a little and then went to 20. But regardless, they're back underway now. Evangel will take it from our left to our right. Landolt brings it up over to Bree Walsh. Crusaders with it back. Neither team has scored here in half number two. Rumfelt on the right wing. Puts it on the floor over to Walsh. Walsh right of the arc. Over to Landolt. Left side for Tianchi Brown. She'll dump it down low to McSpannon. Double team finds Rumfelt. She'll fire a three, and it's off the front of the rim. No good. Evangel never got to the free throw line the entire first half. Zero free throws attempted for Evangel, let alone made in the first half. There's a whistle. They're going to call a foul on Evangel, a little push from behind. Rumfelt will get charged for their third. John Brown only had eight free throws and only made three of them. That's eight more, though, than Evangel got attempted on the Eagles. were only called for one foul the entire half. Out front of three is off the front of the rim. No good by Shipley. Crusaders the rebound. He'll take it the other way. Landolt brings it all the way to the right side of the arc. Now backs up in the backcourt. Right side to Tianchi Brown. Out front for Rumfelt. Left side to Amanda Landolt. She'll get it down low. Intended for McSpannon. Will bat it away. Sierra gets it back far sideline. Left alone. Now back to Brown from with... 10 to shoot. She'll look to go one-on-one. -on -one, gets herself in the lane. Splits two defenders. Missed the layup. Rebound Eagles. They'll go the other direction. Still 21-20. We played two minutes into the second half. Garrison out front. Got the ball knocked away by McSpadden. But they're going to call Sierra for a reach-in foul. First foul on Sierra McSpadden. Evangel brings back into the game. Danielle Latt. And Bailey Irvine, Brown, and Rumfeld count. New shot clock for the Eagles. Comes into Garrison, ball knocked away briefly, then tied up briefly, but they still play on. And the pass out of bounds far side will go to Evangel. Crusaders force the turnover as Lat nearly had a tie up. They let the play go, and it winds up forcing a bad pass anyway. Still, neither team has scored this half. 
Kind of picking up where we left off. There wasn't a whole lot of points in the first half combined. Angel still down one. McSpadden right block with her back to the basket. Puts on the floor, swings the left side for Walsh. Her three-point try is off the back of the rim. Rebound tracked down by the Eagles. Parrish the other way for John Brown. Left side, Shipley drives baseline all the way to the hole. Scores in a layup. She has six. 23 to 20. Eagles in front by three. Landolt brings it up. Left side to Sierra McSpadden. She'll fake a three, take it to the left corner. Back away left of the lane. Double team. Finds Landolt out front. Right side to Danielle Latt. Latt driving baseline. Bounce pass inside to McSpadden. Powers up a shot and scores off the glass. McSpadden, who's averaging 17.8 and 9.3 rebounds, gets her second basket there to bring Evangel within one. Eagles with it. Right wing, Sierra Shipley. She'll drive baseline, run into a defender, but it's going to be an Evangel foul. Ariel Robinson rotates back in, make it Tianchi Brown rotating in for Irvine. Foul charged to Irvine is her first. Eagles inbound underneath. Comes into Garrison, pass wide, taken away by Brown. Tianchi Brown to the other end, around the defender, scores on a layup. She has 13 as she wormed her way to found a defender one-on-one -on -one in the lane and puts Evangel back ahead by one. Right side, Anna Parrish to the top of the key to Shipley. She'll go left, take it to the left corner to Barker. Barker, bounce pass back to Parrish, left side of the backcourt. He puts it on the floor to her right. Crosses over left on Landolt. Cut off. Bounce pass left side to Barker. Three to shoot. They beat the shot clock as Ann Crom hits from 15 left baseline. Morgan Ann Crom with five. Back to a one point lead for the Eagles at 25 24. Brown right side of the backcourt to Landolt. Landolt out front for Walsh. As far side to Brown. Feeds Lat at foul line. Right side to Landolt. Fires from 21 and knocks down the three. Landolt with six and a timeout call by the Crusaders as they go back ahead by two. 27-25. Crusaders retake the lead. 15-33 to go in the game. And Evangel with a timeout. And we are back after this. at the Ashcroft Center, the Amanda Landolt three-pointer gives Evangel back a two-point lead. 27-25. Crusaders by a basket. 15-20 to go in the game. Eagles with the ball. You have a whistle. They're going to call a foul on Walsh, who got blocked in to her defender. Walsh's second foul called for a reach-in on Brooke Barker. Eagles now inbound with a fresh shot clock. On the far side, Sierra Shipley goes to her right, cut off by Brown. Picks up a dribble, goes out front for Barker. Bounce pass underneath, turn around shot of the lane, long rebound and Crom, her put back is short, got her own miss, and keeps it alive for the Eagles. Out of the right side, Shipley drives, runner in the lane, got blocked, but she got reached in on and fouled. That's going to go on Tianchi Brown. The foul count for the game is 13 to 1. Eagles have a first half foul, and that came early. They haven't been called for one since. Free throw by Shipley, no good. 
They continue to be kind of cool from the line, though. They're three for nine from the free throw line, and this is a, a decent team from the free throw stripe for the year. It's kind of scary. They're going to be able to make the rest of them the rest of the way. They're at 76% as a team from the foul line, and sure enough, Shipley makes the second in. She has seven, and it's a one-point evangel lead now, 27-26. Here's Walsh, right side of the arc, right wing to Rumfeld, who's back in. Rumfeld down low for Latt, got around the defender and got fouled from behind. Well, there wasn't much contact on that, but Evangel finally earning a trip to the line for the first time tonight as Latt had her defender beat and draws the foul. Free throw, though, no good from Danielle Latt. Freshman from Sussex, Wisconsin. Here is her second. It's up. That's good. She makes one out of two. 28-26. Angel leading by a basket. 14-35 to go second half. They're at Ascroft Center. Lindsey McMurray has a pass out front stolen by Rumfeld. Feeds Brown ahead of the pack, and Tianchi scores on a layup. Heady move by Rumfeld, who had room in front of her, but opted to feed the point guard Brown who she knew could convert easier and sure enough Brown gets the lay in to make it 30 to 26 down low a turnaround shot blocked by Lat. loose ball saved in by Walsh but right to the Eagles and a layup won't go and Walsh is hurt Bree Walsh is either cramped up or she's turned an ankle as she is hobbled in the far corner and I uh, think she's going to be alright he saved the ball in bounds, but to the Eagles, there's an Evangel foul that's going to be charged to Lat. Free throw is good. We've got Lat three. They say four though on the scoreboard. McMurray hits the free throw. Second one is up. That's no good. Rum felt the rebound for the Crusaders. That comes Evangel the other end. Landol lobs it underneath for Robinson, who turns, shoots, and scores in the lane. She has two. 20, uh, 32 27. It's a five point Evangel lead. Shipley out front. Feeds it to Courtney Berenberg. Now on the right side for Abby Warren. Left of the arc, a three is long. Rebound, though, for McMurray, and her putback is missed. If Angel the rebound this time, they'll bring it the other way. In transition, pass underneath intended for Robinson is stolen. Back come the Eagles the other direction. Up the far side in a parish to the right side, a three on the way by McMurray or McHenry. No good. She got the rebound and got knocked to the floor. Sierra McSpadden to the score table, and that's, they say, five on Lat. I'm not sure that's right as they get free throws here for Lindsey McMurray. Free throw is good. Lindsey McHenry with... Four points in the game. Her second free throw got the roll. Back comes Evangel the other way. A lob up front is over the head of McSpadden and stolen. Back come the Eagles the other direction. On the far side, Carrasquillo. Has it on the wing, looks underneath. Feeds it left of the lane for Berenberg. Her turnaround shot is off the glass, no good. Gets her own miss. Goes back up and got tied up. And it's going to be Evangel's, or it's going to be John Brown's ball and change of possession. Eagles with 14 to shoot. Get it in far corner, and it's stolen by Brown. They say she was over the baseline and out of bounds. 
Shot clock reset. And I guess it should have. They said that she had possession before she went out of bounds with it. A break there for the Eagles. Pass goes underneath, then back to the right wing. Driving Shipley at it, knocked away, then got it back. Feeds it in the backcourt for Abby Warren. Now out front for Berenberg, right side of three. Knocked down by Sierra Shipley to get her in double figures with 10. And we're tied at 32 all with 12.20 left. Crusaders bring it up. Robinson over to Sierra McSpadden. She'll bomb from 24, and it's off the back of the rim. Rebound Eagles. They'll shoot for the lead this trip with a 32 all tie. Shipley near wing. Goes to the top of the key. Now swung to the right side to Carrasquillo. Left of the arc for Sierra Shipley, guarded by McSpadden. Right of the arc now, Abby Warren gets it left of the arc. A three by Shipley won't go. Rump felt the rebound for Evangel. Crusaders push the other way. Landolt will bring it up. And to Landolt. Needs a left side for Rumfeld, then got it back on the right wing. Amanda back for Rumfeld. She'll fire from 21. It's long. Rebound John Brown University. will wave through the other way. McHenry pushes it up. Swings it off right side to Shipley. She'll drive. Lost her balance in the lane, but got reached in on and fouled. That puts the Eagle in the bonus. They'll have a one and one. Sierra Sipley at the line to shoot the one and one as Walsh and Irvine come back in for the Crusaders. Foul is on Ariel Robinson, her second. Free throw, the front end of the one and one is good by Shipley to give the Eagles back the lead. Sierra Shipley averaging 14 a game. Their top three shooter at 36%. She's 64% from the free throw line. Second one, that's good. She has 12. She'll come out of the game. Brooke Barker is in for the Golden Eagles. Angel the other way, now down by two, 34-32. Irvine left wing, feeds McSpannon down low. Turnaround shot is good with the right hand. McSpannon caught it in the lane, scores in a hook to tie the game back at 34 all. Anna Parrish brings it up on the right side to Lindsey McHenry. Then got it back, bounce pass underneath, broken up. It's loose in the lane, and the Eagles come out of there with it. On the far side, Barker. Hits it to the right corner, and a three from there, knocked down by Courtney Berenberg. She averages eight a game off the bench. It's her first basket tonight, and it's 37-34, John Brown. Landolt to drive, finds Rumfelt left wing. Lobs for McSpadden underneath, got fouled on a try under, under the basket, and she'll have free throws on the Eagles' foul. Sierra McSpadden with six points in the game. Drawing a foul on Courtney Berenberg. McSpadden is at 94% from the free throw line. It's the front end. Cami Garrison back in for the Eagles along with Morgan Ancrom. Second free throw, good. McSpadden swishes both. She has eight. Six this half. Evangel down one, 37-36. 10.25 to go in the second. Eagles bring it up. Parrish directing traffic. Gives it up right wing. With it there, McHenry. Out out front, Brooke Barker. Barker to her left. Cut off by Walsh. Reverses field right. Now feeds Ancrom deep on the right side. Gets it back top of the key. Fires a three. Missed it off the back of the rim. Rump felt the rebound for Evangel. Clears ahead to Landol. She'll push the floor, finds McSpadden, who scores on a layup in transition. Pretty pass from Landolt to McSpadden, and a timeout will be called. 9.51 to go, and the Crusaders retake the lead. 38-37, Evangel up one with a timeout called. We're back after this. <laughs> 
Let's take uh, 13 and 14 then. Yeah. <laughs> Back at the Ashcroft Center, Evangel on top, 38-37 over John Brown with 9.51 left to go. A reminder coming up after our game tonight, Tournament Fishing Radio on ESPN 1400. Normally heard at 6 o'clock. It will come your way when our coverage concludes tonight. John Brown University brings it up the floor the other way, going to the basket to our left. Here in the second half, they're in road blue jerseys, white lives numbers, yellow, white, and blue trim. Out front, McHenry drives inside the lane, puts up a runner over Rumfelt. Shot won't go. Rebound loose on the floor. McSpadden has it. It's tied up, and the Crusaders are going to have the arrow and possession. So the Crusaders get a stop, and they'll bring it the other way with 9.30. Left to go, still ahead by one. Banjo looking for their first win of the year. They came in at 0-4 tonight. John Brown University, 3-4, and, and a pass by Irvine got punted out of bounds by the Eagles. Sierra Shipley rotates back in for the Golden Eagles now. Banjo inbounds inside. On the baseline, it'll be Landolt to trigger in the pass. Banjo in home, Whites. Maroon letters and numbers. Bob comes to McSpadden. He'll get an open three. Top of the arc and miss it off the back iron. Rebound Eagles. He'll take it the other way. McSpadden has not hit from three yet today. Left to wing. Bring it top of the arc. And a three knocked down by Cami Garrison, their center. She has four, and John Brown retakes the lead by two at 40-38. Bailey Irvine right wing. It was cross court to Walsh, left side to Landolt. And to Landolt, takes it back to the perimeter. Cross court pass to Jess Rumfeld, right wing. Rumfeld puts on the floor to her right, runs into a, two defenders, swings it back to Landolt. Now to Irvine with six to shoot. Bailey, right side for Landolt. She'll fake a three, get it to McSpadden inside. Turn around, shot good off the glass at the horn of the shot clock. McSpadden with 12, ties the game at 40. 8.20 to go in the game. That's pass underneath. Garrison left block against Rumfelt. Feeds Shipley in a give and go. And Sierra Shipley scores in a layup. Pretty fundamental play by the Golden Eagles, and they convert in a lay-in to retake a two-point lead. Rumfelt now right of the arc to Bailey Irvine. Irvine cross court to Landolt. Landolt to her right. Backs up top of the arc now to Bailey Irvine. They feed McSpadden right block. Sierra with a jump hook in the lane. Got the roll off the back iron. McSpadden heating up and scoring around the basket. She ties the game back at 42 all. Here's a drive by Barker. Feeds it inside to Garrison, who missed the shot off the glass. McSpadden the rebound for the Crusaders. On the run, Landol pushes it up. Feeds it to Sierra McSpadden. Looks inside, goes out front instead to Amanda Landolt, the sophomore from Kickapoo. Will reset her offense. Here's Rumfelt, left wing, up top. Now got a whistle and an offensive foul on the Crusaders. An illegal screen on Evangel. Called it on Sierra McSpad in her second foul. Walsh comes out of the game for the Crusaders. Tianchi Brown back in. Brown with 15 points. That leads all scorers. 
And Crom for the Golden Eagles. Right side to Sierra Shipley. They get it down low, and a shot underneath is good by Cammie Garrison. Garrison with six. 44-42, John Brown leads. Out front, Landolt. Right side to Bailey Irvine. Irvine puts it on the floor. Cross court to Landolt, left wing. She'll drive baseline. Swing it to Rumfelt. Doesn't fire the three, but finds Irvine. Her three-point try is long. Rebound, John Brown University. They'll take it the other way. Driving, Shipley swings it cross court, and a three try by Barker is up and good. Brooke Barker hits a three, and we've got a timeout called by Evangel. John Brown with their biggest lead of the day. They go ahead by five, 47-42, with 6.26 left. Timeout Crusaders. We're back to Ashcroft Center after this. Let's sneak in 16 with it. Back at the Ashcroft Center, Evangel trying to respond. Down five to John Brown University. 6-10 to go in the game. 47-42, Golden Eagles lead Evangel. Left side, Tianchi Brown drives. Gets to the foul line. Runner from there just short. Rebound, Eagles. And they'll clear it. Evangel has had a lead most of the day, but Eagles with a little run. Now ahead by five, and there's an offensive foul. And go on John Brown underneath Morgan Ancrom called for hooking. That'll give Evangel back the ball. Crusaders needed a break there. And now need a basket down five. Here's Rumfelt left wing. They feed McSpadden left block. Double team finds Brown. Drives into the lane. Runner off the glass. Good. Tianchi Brown with 17. Gets Evangel within three with five and a half left. Now it's pass inside. Cammie Garrison there. Swings it back to the wing. Here's Shipley. Top of the key, Garrison. Pass underneath. Put up. No good, but a foul on the Crusaders inside as Ancrom got it right of the basket and got fouled by Sierra McSpadden. McSpadden's third foul. The Crusaders have lost Danielle Latt to fouls in this game, so they're down to seven eligible. Free throw is good. And Crom with six. Second free throw, that's good as well. Angel back the other way. 49-44. Crusaders still down five. Irvine to Brown. Back to Bailey Irvine, left wing. Is it back to Tianchi Brown? Now to Jessica Rumfelt on the right wing. Here's Brown, top of the arc. Brown picks up a dribble. Now to Sierra McSpadden. She'll drive to her right, get inside the lane, run into a double team, scores, and got fouled in the knee. Not sure how she split two defenders when she got in the lane, but did. Got a basket, a foul, and a chance at a three-point play. This can bring Evangel within two. Free throw, good. 17 for McSpadden, including 15 this half. 
Back comes John Brown the other direction. 49-47. Pass underneath, getting it inside. Parrish can't get a shot away. Out front for Garrison. Back to Ancrom, her 15-footer right baseline is short. Rebound Bailey Irvine, dribbles out of traffic, and now Evangel will bring it the other way. 4.30 to go in regulation. Crusaders down two. McSpadden left of the arc. Cross court to Landolt, right wing. Man to Landolt, swings it left for McSpadden, left of the arc. Left wing for Bailey Irvine. Irvine to Landolt, she'll gun for three, and score! Landolt from 22, right of the arc, hit her third three, and the Crusaders are in front, 50-49. to 49. John Brown with it back, four minutes to go. Top of the key, Ann Crom. Left of the arc for Shipley. She'll take it to the wing, bounce pass top of the key for Barker. Right side, Ann Crom. Eyes the basket from 24 feet. Heads to the baseline, cut off there. Feeds it right side for Parrish with six to shoot. Lobs it for Garrison. Garrison right of the arc. Top of the key. They don't beat the shot clock. Shipley partially blocked. And it's going to be Evangel's ball with 3.39 to go. Courtney Berenberg back in for John Brown. Evangel with a one-point lead. And now the ball back as they'll walk it the other way with 3.36 remaining. And Landolt brings it up. Landolt to Bailey Irvine, right side of the backcourt. Here's Tianchi Brown, back right side for Irvine. Irvine puts on the floor to her right, bounce pass across the lane, broken up and taken away in the paint by John Brown. They'll run the floor the other end in transition. It's Barker, she'll pull up from 18 feet, missed the shot long, rebound batted out of bounds, and it's going to be Eagles ball. Rhee Walsh back in for the Crusaders. Irvine out. And John Brown will get a timeout called. 3.06 remaining. Evangel 50, the Golden Eagles 49. And with a timeout on the floor, we are back after this. Okay. Fifty to forty-nine. Evangel leading by one. John Brown though with the basketball, trailing by a point. Three oh six remaining. As the Eagles will have the ball underneath. At Beach with you from the Ashcroft Center, Brad Volker, our studio engineer at the Tower Theater Complex. And tournament fishing radio coming up after our coverage today here on ESPN fourteen hundred. John Brown, three timeouts left. Evangel, two timeouts remaining for the final 3.06 of regulation. Eagles have a fresh shot clock. They get it in left wing to Shipley. She gets it left corner. Bounce pass underneath the garrison. Back left wing for Parrish. They swing it to the right side of Barker. Brooke Barker with it. Bounce pass underneath the garrison. Swung left wing for Berenberg. Her three is good. Big three-point basket by uh, Berenberg, I think that's why she came back in, and she gives the Golden Eagles back the lead at 52 to 50. Here's Sierra McSpadden left wing, dumps it for Rumfelt. She is tied up, and it's going to be back to John Brown with 2:34 to go. Eagles will bring it back the other way. Evangel desperately needing a stop now as Anna Parrish brings it up, guarded by Landolt. Hits it over the midcourt line, left-handed dribble. Swings it left of the arc for Cammie Garrison. Garrison out front for Parrish. Dump down low, pass wide and taken away by McSpadden. Sierra pushes up floor herself. Hits it up the near sideline, walks it over to the right wing. Now finds Landel. Evangel will get into their offense. Here's McSpadden right wing with 2.04 to play. Brown out front. Back right side, Rumfeld for three, yes! 
Jessica Rumfeld with a three from the right wing to give Evangel a lead, 53-52. Minute 50 left. John Brown walks it the other way. Right side, Berenberg. Out front for Garrison. Left of the arc now for Barkers. Puts on floor left all the way to the basket. Scores and got fouled. Bree Walsh trying to go up for a block and got her with a body. And now the Eagles have a chance to retake the lead. Actually, they do retake the lead, but now with a chance at a three-point play. Free throw, bounces through. Angel back the other direction. Trailing now by a bucket, 55-53. Sater's the other way. Barker completing a three-point play. Angel down two, 1.23 to go. Deanchi Brown out front. Right-hand dribble, makes a stop-and-go move. Gets it to Landolt, 10 on the shot clock. Landolt. Now picks up a dribble in some trouble. Feeds McSpadden, her deep three, good! Sierra McSpadden on a 23-foot bomb. Puts Evangel back in front with 1.08 to go. Timeout call with 1.08 remaining. It's the Crusaders 56, John Brown 55. With a timeout, we're back to Ashcroft Center after this. Back at the Ashcroft Center, Evangel calling a timeout. They've got one remaining with 1.08 to play in the game. 56-55, Evangel leads John Brown. A Sierra McSpadden three with a shot clock winding down and really shot it because Evangel wasn't really in position to do much of anything else. Launched a deep three from the right wing and did nothing but net. McSpadden has 18 points in the second half alone, 20 for the game. Crusaders lead by one. Eagles with the ball, though, with 1.08 to go in regulation. Golden Eagles, three timeouts remaining. Evangel, one timeout left. John Brown brings it up on the right wing. Courtney Brandenburg gets it out front to Sierra Shipley. Shipley reverses her field to her right, lobs it middle of the lane, broken up by Rumfeld, knocked out of bounds off the Crusaders. 15 to shoot for John Brown. Sierra Shipley will trigger the inbounds pass. And the Eagles bench talk about a timeout, and they're going to take one. We'll take one, too. 53 seconds remain. Evangel up by a point. 56-55. Golden Eagles inbound it underneath when we come back after this. That's 19, right? All right. Okay. Back at the Ashcroft Center. Where Evangel leads John Brown 56 55. 53 seconds to go here in this women's game. Eagles are going to have the ball underneath when they inbound. Our game summary is brought to you by Empire Bank, where teamwork always pays off. One timeout left for Evangel, two timeouts remaining for John Brown. Eagles are in the double bonus. Evangel not even in the bonus yet. Eagles have just four team fouls. They have two to give. It may not be a bad idea for them to hack if Evangel gets the ball back at all. Just because they have a chance, or at least if they get a lead, they would have a chance to have some time tick away. They're going to wipe up the floor where something got spilled on the uh, 
or on the playing floor in front of the John Brown bench. There's 15 seconds in the shot clock. The Golden Eagles inbound underneath their basket just to the left of the hoop. 15 to shoot, 52.5 on the game clock. And here we go. Eagles look to get it in. Pass comes inbounds. Top of the key for Berenberg. She'll give it up to the right side. A lob underneath. Garrison is there, and she is fouled. And shaken up on the play was Rumfeld. She ran into a screen and got shaken up a bit. Going to the free throw line, Cammie Garrison. She'll try to put her team in front with 45 seconds to go. That foul is Rumfeld's fourth. Front end. No good. Missed it off the back iron. Did Cammie Garrison. She'll have another. This one can tie it. Golden Eagles rotate in. Morgan Ancrom. She'll replace Berenberg. Another free throw for Cammie Garrison. You can't give up an offensive board here if you're Evangel. Second free throw. That's good. So we're tied at 56 all. Back comes Evangel the other way with 42 seconds to go. And Evangel is going to take a timeout. We will keep it here. 40 seconds remain as Evangel spins their last timeout in a 56-all tie. Time for the game summary brought to you by Empire Bank, where teamwork always pays off. Again, the Crusaders... Short-handed today. No Emily Akins out with an injury. Jessica Lessman, who started, the freshman from Nixa, played all 40 minutes Friday night. She's out with an illness. Evangel has lost Danielle Latt to fouls to just seven players eligible right now. And one of them has four fouls in Rumfeld. But the Crusaders have battled from the get-go. They started the game with an 8-0 lead. Trailed, though, by a point at halftime, 21-20. John Brown, however, had a five-point lead late in this thing. With around four and a half left, they were up 47-42 before the Crusaders rallied to take a lead, and we've gone back and forth now down the stretch. Resiliency shown by this Evangel women's team, shorthanded. And at one point, looked like they were fading with six and a half minutes left down five. Came back to take a lead. Now we're dead even at 56 all with 40 seconds to go. 25 seconds is on the shot clock as Bree Walsh inbounds for the Crusaders. Comes into Landolt and Evangel will get into their offense. And to Landolt out front. Feeds Brown right corner. The junior from Gainesville. Over to Walsh. Walls left side, back to Landolt with 14 to shoot and 27 to play. Landolt directing traffic, shot clock down to eight. Landolt off a double screen left, stops right of the lane, backs up, lobs it inside for Rumfeld, catches, shoots, scores! And she's fouled with 15 seconds to go. Rumfeld had the shot, bounce off the front of the rim and go through... A friendly bounce off the iron, and now a chance at a three-point play. Morgan Ancrom picks up her third foul there. Rumfeld can give Evangel a three-point lead as she makes the free throw with 15.3 seconds left. Here's Rumfeld. Free throw, good. Now the Golden Eagles need a three to tie. Anna Parrish will bring it up. Landolt guards her. Goes to her left with nine seconds left. Picked up by McSpadden. Right side of three. Blocked by Brown. Four seconds to go. Desperation shot. No good. They're going to call an Evangel foul with 2.7 seconds left. That's going to give them three free throws and a chance to tie. Brown had the initial block. The ball wound up back in the hands of Berenberg, and in her second try, which was desperation from 26 feet, they say Brown made contact, and she's going to get three free throws. Her first one, no good. 
That's her first miss of the season. She was 15 for 15, but a miss there. Here's her second. No good. The Crusaders still lead by three. Berenberg with another free throw, and we got a timeout by John Brown with 2.7 to go. Boy, who would have thought that? First of all, a huge break for the Golden Eagles in drawing the foul. The one player you don't want if you're Evangel to be shooting them, Courtney Berenberg, who hadn't missed that this year. She missed the first and misses the second. Now the best they can hope for is to intentionally miss and try to tip it out from three range. I'm not sure what's your best bet. Miss it on purpose and try to get a put back and foul or to tip out in a three-point try. Your best bet may be just to put it back and hope Evangel fouls you and you get a basket and one. Tough either way, and of course you've got to miss the free throw and then hope to get the rebound. For Evangel, you cannot give up the offensive board. It'd be an impressive win if Evangel gets it given the circumstances. Trying to hang on here. Evangel's going to put four players around the lane. McSpadden, Rumfelt underneath with Walsh and Brown. Up top, one free throw here for Berenberg. See as she tries to miss it on purpose. Free throw is short. Rebound. Loose saw as it rolls out of bounds with .9 to go. It's Evangel's ball with .9 left. So she missed all three. Brown catches the inbound. She's fouled. The horn sounds. It's over. The Crusaders have won it. Evangel wins their first game of the year. A short-handed Evangel squad defeats John Brown 59 56. Our post-game coverage is brought to you by the Assemblies of God Credit Union. And we'll bring that to you as well. Let's visit with the head coach of the Crusaders, Leon Neal. Our post-game coverage begins after this on the Crusaders Sports Broadcasting Network. Both shocked and excited. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh. 